In my left hand, I have the Tissot Gentleman Automatic, but in my right, I have the Tissot PRX Automatic. The question is, which one's better? Let's begin with all the specs and compare all the specs and then we can get to our overall opinion. So the case diameter on both models comes in at 40 millimeters, but I must say that the PRX wears a lot slimmer and a lot smaller than the Gentleman. Now, there's a couple of different reasons for this and we'll dive into them in a second. The first reason as to why the Gentleman wears that little bit bigger than the PRX is because of the thickness and because the PRX is actually a thinner watch. This comes in at 11.5 millimeters in thickness, whereas the PRX model comes in at 10.9 and also the lug measurements are slightly different, it's slightly smaller. So let's talk about that for a sec. The lugs on the Gentleman model come in at 21 millimeters, but the interesting fact about this is the PRX only comes in at 12 millimeters. That's almost half of the Gentleman. I feel like a common mistake that people make in the luxury watch market is that they base everything off of the case diameter, but they both come in at 40 millimeters. So technically, if you were thinking in that point of view, they'd be the same size, but they're not. There's simply so many factors that come into play when it comes to sizing of a watch. For example, the dial color, the lug width, the crown, the shape of the crown, the crown guard. There's so many factors that need to be considered. So what I would urge you to do is come into your local Chisholm Hunter, try them on because when they're on your wrist, they'll look and feel different to seeing them online. Back to the point of the video, they both have sapphire crystal glass with anti-reflective coating. And also on the underbelly, when you flip both of these watches over, they have an open case back so that you can see into the Powermatic 80 movement. Now they both have the Powermatic 80 movement. One is slightly different to the other, and we'll get into that in a second. Before we get into the movement and the dial of both of these models, we're gonna put them on the scale. And what we're gonna do is see how they compare. Now, I've already seen the figures. I was curious and I put them on the scale, I cheated. But this is gonna surprise you. So let's begin with the PRX model. Let's put this on the scale and let's see how much it weighs. It weighs 139 grams. Now we get to the Gentleman, the one that wears slightly bigger and it weighs 167. So this is the weirdest thing. There's just been a power cut in the arcade. The whole of the arcade has gone down. There's no light at all. But for some reason, unknown to me, my back lights are still on. Like that's the only lights that are on in the arcade. So we have light. Eventually the lights have come back on and we've now got light. So where were we? We were talking about the weight and how the PRX is actually 30 grams or almost 30 grams lighter than the Gentleman. So in my eyes, there's a couple of reasons for this and let me explain. When it comes to the Gentleman, it's obviously thicker. That means there's more metal on the case. Its lugs are bigger as well. So that means there's more metal again. Its strap is thicker. And in general, you can just, you can feel that it is heavier. But I need to say that that doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. I'll move on to that in a second. At the end of the video, I will tell you my preference and I'll tell you which one I think is better. But for now, let's stick to the dials. Let's talk about the dials. So on the Gentleman watch that we have on our left, it has a sun ray dial. Now a couple of the variants, and I'll put them up on the screen at the moment, have that crosshair design. It's almost like a plus in the dial. And actually I prefer that to just the normal sunburst or sun ray dial. It adds that little bit more depth to me. Then we get to the stamping pattern on the PRX with sun ray, that sunburst running through it. It seems to add another level of depth. Then we can talk about both of them having a three o'clock date window. Now, unfortunately, it's not a six o'clock date window. I do prefer six o'clock date windows, but you know, I can't have it all. Another little detail that differentiates the two of these is the crown. The crown on the PRX is slightly longer, but quite thin, whereas the crown on the Gentleman is a little thicker, but not as long. Crowns are a weird one because sometimes they can be that too, that little bit too intrusive. I just, I genuinely don't know which one I prefer. I think, I think it's the PRX, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Let's talk about the indices. Let's talk about the hands. On the PRX model, they're thinner. They're thinner than the Gentleman. And they're also more squared off. If you look at the hands, at the tip of the hands, you can see that they're, they're squared off. And that kind of fits the aesthetic of this model. We'll get onto that a bit later when we talk about the bracelet. Then we go on to the Gentleman, where they're thicker. They're actually, they're, they're a lot thicker to me. And it, 
it fits in with that more bulky, sturdy nature. Another point of difference is the bezel. The bezel on the Tissot PRX is, well, <laughs> well, it's non-existent. It kind of tapers off really, really quickly and you can see the case outline behind it. I like this design, whereas on the Gentleman, the bezel's that little bit thicker and it goes all the way out to the end of the case, giving it a bigger appearance. It's almost like wearing a massive puffer jacket. It makes you look bigger even though you're not. Given that was a little bit of a weird analogy, but stick with me on this one. I want you to, whenever you're looking at watches, imagine the bezel as a jacket. The PRX is in thermals or a t-shirt. It's summertime. It doesn't have a big thick jacket making it look and appear that little bit bigger. Whereas the gentleman is wintertime. It's in the Arctic. It's got a big puffer on. And whenever you look at watches, remember that the bezel doesn't dictate how big it is. It doesn't dictate the diameter, but depending on how the bezel looks and feels, makes it look bigger or smaller. Do you guys see what I mean? Still me, but bigger. Okay, I will stop being weird now. So the PRX on the, on the dial, the PRX symbol, actually means precise and robust. While the X is in Roman numerals 10, it means 10 atmospheres. And basically what this means is that it can go to 100 meter water resistance. So can the gentlemen. So they can both go to that water resistance, but the PRX font is cool. It's a weird thing to say, but I just, I really like the font. I really like how it looks. I think it's just overall a little bit more aesthetically appealing. Let's talk about the case and the bracelet to both these models. They're both made from 316 stainless steel. Now let's start with the, the PRX. I love the bracelet on the PRX. I love the fact that it narrows as it, as it goes down to the deployment clasp. I love the fact that it's brushed instead of polished steel. Brushed steel has more versatility. It won't show scratches as easily. It won't, it, it won't show wear and tear but then you get to the bezel or the limited bezel. It's actually polished instead of brushed, so that will show slight wear and tear. Having said that, you need to compromise because in the light, it looks fantastic. It looks incredible. It shines really, really bright. I'm reflecting it at the moment. Then we move on to the Gentleman. The Gentleman has a oyster bracelet, or almost an oyster bracelet, with a polished strap running through the middle. I really like this design. It looks brilliant. And then you have the bezel, which is obviously polished as well. But what you need to think of here is your use of this watch. If I'm going to be suited and booted, I'd like that little bit of reflection, something to catch the eye when I'm in that boardroom. But if I'm out of the boat and I want to go to a bar, I'd maybe be worried about getting it more scratched. So I go with the PRX. So you need to think of these things when you're going to purchase. Moving on to the movement. The movement in the Tissot Gentleman is the Powermatic 80.8111 and the movement in the PRX, this one, is the Powermatic 80.111. So very, very similar and you have no idea how long it took me to memorize that. Both the movements for the PRX and the Gentleman are both automatic. They're automatic winding, but the Gentleman has 25 joules and the PRX has 23. Now, technically speaking, the more jewels a uh, movement has, the better it is. And the reason for this is there's less metal touching metal, and that means that there's less wear and tear within the movement, meaning that it has longevity. There will be less rust, there will be less wear and tear over time. So, technically speaking, the more jewels a movement has, the better. So, basically, the gentleman wins this one. On that note, though, the PRX does have a trick up its sleeve. Both of these have 80 hours of power and obviously it goes without saying that for the price, getting 80 hours of power is pretty incredible. But the one thing that PRX has over the Gentleman is it has a Nevercon balance spring. Now what a Nevercon balance spring does is it resists magnetic field. So it's less, less likely to be magnetized. It's a good point, but then you go back to the fact that the the gentleman has more jewels. So it's, it's a give and take, you know, there's not a clear winner here. So now we get to the price. We get to the crux of most watch purchases. The Tissot PRX comes in at 565, whereas the gentleman comes in at a slightly more expensive 675. Let's get down to business then. Let's talk about which one of these takes home the prize. You have the PRX in my right hand and let's talk about the PRX. The PRX is the younger artistic brother. 
It didn't do as well in school, it maybe didn't do as well in his exams, but he has a really great set of skills and is more unique. Whereas you move on to the more sophisticated, bigger brother, he did well in his exams, he got all A's, he's doing really, really well, but he's maybe doesn't take as many risks as the younger brother. Technically, on paper, the older brother, 25 joules, it weighs that slight bit more, it's a bit bigger, it's a bit more classy, it's technically better. But here's the thing, art's subjective, and the 70s design of the PRX, it gets me every time. I've been working in the luxury watch industry for about seven or eight years now, and if you've seen my Watch Collection 2021 video, you'll know and you'll see a common theme. I tend to go for things that are a little bit different, a little bit ambiguous, shall we say. But if I just started in the watch industry, I probably would have gone for the gentleman. It's a safer bet. But with that said, what's life without a little risk? I've gone for the PRX, but I'd love to know what you would go for. Would you go with the PRX or the gentleman? Let me know in the comments. Also, do you want us to do more versus videos? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please hit this subscribe button to join the Chisholm Hunter watch community. If you want to see more from Tiso, then make sure you click here. And if you want to see the watch vlog, where we take some pretty incredible watches to some pretty amazing locations, make sure you click here.